Thank you for supporting Jewish uh, community and standing with Israel. Myself, I am not always pro-Israeli government, but always pro-state of Israel. Thank you, my friend. I am not really. You see, I don't support because you are or not. I, I support what is right. So this is the land is the land of the Jews. As simple as that. If it's not their land, I would say it's not. I'm not taking side. This is the land of the Jews. The book of the Muslims says this is their land. The book of the Christians says this is their land. The book of the of the Jews says their land. So what the problem? The problem is there's a scumbag. His name is Muhammad. He taught hate against the Jews. And since then, the Muslims, they cannot live in peace with anyone. They want to kill everybody. And everybody avoiding to speak about the problem. They keep talking about Hamas when the whole issue is not Hamas. Is somebody living in Pakistan is Hamas? No. Somebody living in Iraq is Hamas. Even the Shia, they want to kill the Jews. Somebody living in Iran, he said death to Israel. So what the problem? The problem is, 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 is Islam. Why somebody living in China don't scream death to Israel? Unless he's a Muslim. The second he is a Chinese Muslim, he will say death to Israel. So what the problem? The problem is religion. And nobody dare to say what is the problem. What do you think about a, a, a son of Hamas, Musab? He just made a speech in the UN. What do you think about his speech? I did not. I don't. I don't watch really those things, but I know what he will say. But anyone will listen? No, they will not listen to him. They will not, because at the end of the day, it is about money. It's about deals. It's not about what is right and what is wrong. You see here, we are talking like, you know, like family, friends, etc. So we speak in a, in a comfortable way and we say that what, what we believe is right. For those who they are in the offices, the mafia, those, they don't care for what is right and what is ethical and what ethical. They don't care even for bloodshed and killing who died. No, they care for the deals, the money, how much we will make from the oil, what we will get from agreement. If I now vote against Israel, what I will win and what I will lose? Who's going to elect me next time if I vote against Israel? And how many they will elect me if I vote for Israel? They calculate their numbers. They find that there's 57 Muslim countries and there is one country is called Israel. So the head of the United Nations, he vote against Israel. Because there's 57 countries will vote for him to be uh, to be the, the head of United Nation again. It's a business. It's not about what is right or what's wrong. When Putin he support Hamas, this guy he killed them. He killed them in Syria, the same Hamas. So why he support Hamas? Because he's upset. He's upset from the American, he's upset from the Israeli, they are supporting his enemy, the Ukrainian. It's just exchange of fire. Otherwise, what he have to do with Hamas? The guy, he killed thousands of them in Syria. So what do you see in the world? Even when Biden, he say he support with Israel, do you think he care for Israel? Anyone really here think that Biden, he care for Israel? He don't. He care for his coming election. So if he say, I am against Israel, it's because he think it's better for his election. If he say, I am with Israel, it is because he think it's for his election. Do you see all of those who go in the stand and you say, we stand with Israel from Democrat and Republican? The only one who is saying that he stands with Israel is the one who is conservative and he understands very well that this is the land of Israel and this is their right. But I assure you, most of them, they don't care. It's just about election. If the majority of the American, they are anti-Israel, all of those you see them in the stage saying, we support Israel, they will say the opposite. They will flip overnight. 
because simply all what they care for is how to be re-elected or how to be in the office and how to make more money. Trump, Trump, he want to sign peace agreement for Israel. He brought Qatar, he brought, that's all, hold on, Emirat and Bahrain. But then Trump himself, he protected Qatar. Qatar is the head of the snake. Is that correct? Is Qatar the head of the snake? How many times we heard the name of Qatar? Even now when they want to have a deal to release the terrorist, the terrorist to, to release the hostages, it's Qatar. Qatar everywhere. So Trump, he go in front of the White House, he say, Qatar have to stop supporting terrorism. Okay. Few weeks after, Qatar rent a building from his son-in-law for $1 billion. Suddenly, Qatar is a friendly country. <laughs> I mean, the guy, he went in the front of the White House and Qatar have to stop and they are funding terrorism. What happened? Money. Even the one who you think he is for Israel, in fact, he is just for his pocket. So when he support Israel, he just supporting so that he can be elected. Even when he speak about being conservative, he is not. Isn't it obvious? This guy just after women, you know, he is not conservative. He just say what, what the crowd like to hear. The group who vote for him. As simple as that. They like guns? Okay, we will keep your guns. You are Christians? Okay, I will hold the Bible. Historic trip to Europe and the Middle East. I addressed a summit of more than 50 Arab and Muslim leaders, a unique meeting in the history of nations, where key players in the region agreed to stop supporting terrorism, whether it be financial, military, or even moral support. The nation of Qatar, unfortunately, has historically been a funder of terrorism at a very high level. And in the wake of that conference... Did he say... Did he say in a very high level? Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Qatar is funding terrorists in a very high level, which means, what does that mean? The prince himself, the ruler. And then he became their best friend. But why Trump, he attacked Qatar in this speech? Because the Saudi, they gave him money and they asked him to go against Qatar. He is their dog. Then the Qatari, they offer more money. <laughs> You see, he said, I just came from meeting from Muslim leaders. He met with the Saudi. The Saudi, they hate the Prince of Qatar. He is supporting Hamas. He is supporting Muslim Brotherhood. He is, he is, he is. Do something. He go in front of TV. Hamas, Qatar have to stop supporting terrorism. Qatar, they got it. They went to Washington DC. They met with his son, his son almost bankrupt, son-in-law. They rented his building for $1 billion. Did you ask yourself why until now the FBI and the Department of Justice did not question his son-in-law about such a deal? Isn't it obvious? $1 billion rent from Qatar? So a foreign government rented a building from an official. He is a private consultant to the president. And, you know, here you ask yourself, why even he is, who is he to be private consultant to the president? Who, I mean, who is this guy? Like, do he have uh, degrees in political science? Maybe he is a, a lawyer. He study international law. Or who is this guy? He doesn't even talk. And the daughter of Trump, who is a Barbie, she do fashion and she sell purses and 
shoes, suddenly she became a private consultant to the president. I mean, those are people higher about decision for a nuclear war, for something serious. Those are the private consultant for a president. And then Qatar go and rent from Trump, son-in-law, a building, and they pay the rent in advance for the coming 99 years. So all of them, they are lying. Don't think they support Israel. Nobody, they don't support Israel. They support themselves. They listen to the crowd. If Biden, he notice that the majority of the American, they are against Israel, trust me, he will send arms to Hamas. All what they care for, who is the one who will make them win? As simple as that. But people think that those are trustworthy and they are good. Like if, if now I, like I speak negative about Trump, many will be upset. Many, they will be upset, very upset. But this is the truth. They don't care really about you. They don't care about Israel. So all those who see the work in politics, you look at them as a Christian in a very, let us say, you know, like in a classical way, like you are a Christian, they stand for uh, conservative value. Uh, they are against, uh, you know, uh, the woke uh, culture, etc. And uh, because of that, we vote for them. Okay, good. But how many of them really are really conservative? This is why it's very important to check the list. How many times they vote conservative? How many times they did not vote conservative? How many times they absence from vote against something not conservative? Because when you don't vote against it, it's the same as you vote for it. You know what I mean? So when they say they wanna legalize marriage for homosexual, and then you claim that you are a congressman voted by Christian groups, and you claim that you are conservative, and then during the day of vote, you, absent, you are absent. What does that mean? But this is the day we need you. So when he is absent, in fact, his absent is to make it happen. In the same time, he make himself like, I wasn't there, I did not vote for it. Go, go check the name. I did not vote for it, but the fact he voted for it, that's why he was absent. He did not join the vote to say yes, so he will not have a mark in his name that he did vote for it. So they get absent. I will never work in politics because I will be, uh, I will be kicked second day. <laughs> Imagine me in the Congress. <laughs> the first speech I will say to them, all of you are a bunch of potatoes, liar and, 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 and hypocrites. <laughs> and then they will vote against you. They will say he did something un unethical. You know, they will censor you. They can kick you out. They will vote against you. They will kick you out even if you are elected. The first day, you will not even survive the second day. You have to be part of the gang to survive the, survive the gang. You cannot be the priest between, between the drug dealers. Even though I know if I go and make a speech, a lot of people, they will like, you know, like me to know about me, but they will not let you go on. They will not, they will not, you stay. They will not even, you will not even be able to be in that day where you can say, I want to go for election. They will smear you. They will frame you. And they will say, look what he say. He speak, he's Islamophobic, he's Islam, etc. You know? Yeah. Anyway, I don't want to be in such a place because when you work for government, you are not afraid. If you have money, they, they have the right to check where you got your money. They can frame you. They can say, oh, where he, where he got his car from? Where he uh, bought his house? How he made this money? Uh, we have subpoena for his phone. The second you became an official, you need to be ready for all the garbage they have. 